I continue to say this over and over and over again. And I continue to see people, not so much see, but I continue to hear people do it in the wrong way. We have to know that there are power or there is power in our words. So be careful of what you say about yourself. Be careful of what you say about other people. Because if you go to Proverbs 18 and 21, it says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So this is saying, death and life are in our words. So we have so much power in our words that we can change the way a person feels about themselves, their health. Don't you know that you can change a person's health based upon what you say to them? What if a person comes to you every day, says you are stupid, you are a moron, you are an idiot, so on and so on and so on. You are going to make that person feel worse about themselves. And perhaps they will get depression and develop other psychological issues based upon what you are saying what if you are constantly building a person up hey you are really doing a good job i wish i was like you or something like that keep on doing it very good work and you are building a person up more and more and more. What is that going to do to that person? The person that you are speaking positive words about. It is going to make that person excel more. It is going to get that person more motivated to do what they are doing. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. So why are you calling yourself stupid? Why are you calling yourself worthless? Why do you say that no one would care if I was to kill myself or if I was to die? Why are you saying that? There is power in your words. So the more you keep saying that foolish stuff, the more it is going to affect your body. Then you are really, you already believe in what you say because you continue to say it over and over and over again. It is affecting you. This is why we should never, ever speak negatively about people. Because we can bring a person down to the point where they want to kill themselves because of what you say. That is a lot of power. To the point a person wants to kill themselves, man. Don't use negative words on yourself or anyone else. Even if something seems to be negative, why say it? Even if something seems to be going wrong, why say it? 
Why not say things out of positivity? Hey, this may not be going as well as I like, but I know that it is going to turn out good. This person may not be treating me the way that I like, but him and I or her and I are going to be close friends. Positivity. Well, a person may say, well, when I say positive words, how do I know what I am saying is going to happen? It is going to happen. Why? Because death and life are in our words. So if we continue to speak it, we are speaking life. When you speak negative things about yourself, doesn't it become more true to you when you continue to say it? Yes. So the opposite would have to be true as well. If you continue to speak positively about a situation or about a person, it would have to come forth. Otherwise, it would not be in the Bible that death and life are in our words. So what we say does matter. So speak positively even if things look negative. No matter what happens. It is so funny that people have more faith in something going wrong than something going good when there are more good things that happens than the bad thing that happens. That is quite funny. So people are prone to help demons get down more on them. Demons ultimately want us to go to hell. So they are going to do as much as they can to get us to sin. So when the Bible is saying death and life is in the power of the tongue, when you are speaking negatively, that is shaping you. That is shaping you more on the side of demons. Anything negative is not of God. So if it is negative, it is, it is of demons. So when you choose to speak negatively, hey, I am worthless, nothing goes right with me, so on and so on. When you choose to speak that way, you are helping demons to curse you. God gave dominion over this world to us, not demons, not angels. But when we choose to say bad things about ourselves, we are giving our power to demons to curse us much more. We already have witches and people of the occult trying to curse us and kill us and stuff like that. So when you are speaking negatively, hey, you are helping the witches. You are helping the witches do you win? Well, Kevin, I don't think that's true. Listen, instead of saying that you are cursed or whatever else, say that you are blessed by God. Good things are coming my way. I love everyone and everyone loves me. That is not being arrogant. That is not being conceited. It is speaking life. If death and life is in the power of the tongue, why am I choosing to always speak death? 
So I have another option. The other option is to speak life. I don't know if that makes any sense. So when I am speaking life, I am not lying. I am speaking life. Even if I don't see it as of now, it coming true, that is not lying. It is speaking life. Listen, when people choose to speak negatively about themselves, many of the time it is not even true. So can't a person say, hey, they are lying? Because when they say that they are stupid, they are not stupid, but yet they are calling themselves stupid. So the more you call yourself that, the more it becomes true. You can either speak life or speak death. Life is already hard enough. Why help demons and witches and stuff like that to curse yourself, man? I am blessed by God. Things goes my way. I love everyone and everyone loves me. I matter in this world. Good things always goes my way. My day at work is going to go perfect. Everyone is going to like me there. Everything is going to be good. My car always work. It causes me no trouble. I have a perfect relationship with my mother and father. My nieces and nephews and whomever else we get along well. Speaking life. I have more than enough food to eat. I have more than enough money in my bank account. God loves me. Everyone loves me. No one hates me. No one despises me. I am a good person. I am loved by God. Speaking life. You can either speak life or you can either speak death. Why speak death when it does no good for you? It is your choice. God bless.